friends, I want to encourage you to go get some dessert, to go get some more cooking. But in the meantime, let's let's pray to God. Let's let's start singing together. All right. So so if, if you want to get up, if you feel like standing and singing, you do so. If you are still eating, then you can do that too. All right. So musicians, we can lead us in worship.
for God. And so in just a moment, I'm going to ask Pastor Clayton to do so to lead us in prayer. But before we do, musicians, we prepare our hearts.
here in the town, if you all love each other, you can say names at the same time, it's okay. God hears all. Blend of the Lord's Prayer, if you need the words, they'll be on the screen. You pray with me. Strong covenant God, save us from being self-centered in our prayers. And teach us to remember to pray for others. May we be so bound up in love with those for whom we pray that we may feel their needs as acutely as our own and intercede for them with sensitiveness and with understanding and with imagination. This we ask in Christ's name. God, as members of, of this community here in Baytown, Mount Bellevue, we lift up the United Methodist witness in ministry that's here. Not just from this church, but we also lift up the people of the Houston Methodist Faith Down Hospital and their witness and their ministry to the people that are in our community. We lift up their board of directors. Pray that you give them wisdom as they guide the hospital. Lift up the doctors, physicians, assistants, the nurses, all the staff, the medical staff, the administrative staff, everyone, because we know every one of them has a ministry, because they are all your ministers. We lift up the chaplains, those who go in and try to give some kind of peace. Sometimes in really difficult situations. Especially the United Methodist pastors, but those of all faiths, the Christians, those of all faiths. And we lift up the patients that are in the hospitals. We pray that you give them healing and comfort. We lift up their families, their loved ones, that you give them peace, strength, and understanding for what's going on. Praise you for this ministry, this hospital's ministry, and its presence, its united Methodist presence in this community. Now we lift up those that are in our hearts and our minds.
And now in the confidence of the children of God, we pray the words of your son Thomas. We say our Father.
Friends, I ask you to remain standing, and would you read with me the scripture lesson for today? Today we're focusing on that one verse, that one area, one part found in Romans in the 15th chapter. Let's read it together in one voice. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in faith, so that you overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I ask you to please be seated. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Lord, for indeed you are our strength, our rock, and our redeemer, and let the church say, Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell the neighbor, I thought we would not have a sermon today. That's 
or turn to your neighbor, all right, and, and tell your neighbor to hold on to his or her chair, okay, hold on, because what I'm going to tell you may shock you, all right, okay, tell your neighbor, the coming of Christ has already begun. The coming of Christ begins with the body of Christ, which is called the church. The fullness of Christ we have not seen, but the beginning of the embodiment of Christ in the world is in this part right now. We don't have to wait for a future that we do not yet see. We do not have to behold a year that has yet to come in order to feel the presence and the inbreaking of God's kingdom right here in this moment. And because God oftentimes is a God of noise and chaos, because I remember God said, let there be light, and there was a big bang, and there was light. Because God creates, not in the silence, but in the noise and in the strength of God's own voice. Friends, and I promise you, I'm getting ready to land this plane. <laughs> Show 
There is something about God's love. There is something about God's peace. There is something about God's joy. There is something about God's power that never runs out. <coughs> All we do is go back to the source that we may be filled again. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, touch our hearts that we may overflow with the joy, with the peace, with the hope, with the power of your Holy Spirit. All of these things, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and let the church say, Amen. Amen.
the announcements coming up for the week. Absolutely, Owen. Oh, it's been such a joy to be with you this morning. As we look forward, if you didn't get a chance to fill out a card for the breakfast that's going to happen in two weeks, come see me after service and we'll make sure you get one. Also, next week we will be celebrating All Saints Day. It will be an amazing service with extra music and the same great theme that we see every week. And we would love for you to join us as we remember those who have gone before us in the faith. This evening we have adult Bible studies from the Disciple Track. We also have the youth making pumpkins. And we have children on the choir. So if you would like to join any of those activities, we'd love to have you. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Friends, would you please stand for our closing lesson? Turn your neighbor to the neighbor. Father.